Everyone is turning colors. Kids are making out in the street. No one is getting their dinner. Hell, you could have a flood any minute. Pretty soon, the women could be going off to work while the men stayed at home and cooked. That is not going to happen. But it could happen. No, it could not. Hello. Hey there, guys. Welcome to another episode of the Daily Movie Critics. Uh, it's Tuesday, which means it's me, Simon, from the channel Simon Wizard 91, is going to do a review for you. And uh, today, I'm going to do the film Pleasant. Now this is one of my old time favourite movies, and uh, sometimes I get the feeling it gets swept under the table and not really taken in for what it is. Uh, what it is, I think, is quite a big kind of look into modern society and how... I don't know... I know what I think, but I don't know how to explain it. Well, I should probably start with the plot, to be honest. Uh, two teenagers and a brother and a sister from the 90s uh, get accidentally sucked into an old 50s TV show called Pleasantville, which is based on a town where everything is nice and pleasant, no one swears, no one has sex, no one shits, uh, the basketball team always win, every family's happy, and, you know, it's just a, it's a perfect, well not perfect, but a so-called perfect place to live. And the two teenage, teenagers' presence there uh, breaks the society slowly and become treats, make, transforms it into a more real and natural society. And as they do this, uh, the black and white turns slowly into colour. Little things become colourful because uh, the whole thing is black and white. And as the people who have stayed black and white, who stay pleasant, become more wary and scared of the, the people who are changing colour and kind of realising that everything doesn't always have to be pleasant. The, the black and white people, they, they become prejudiced, prejudiced against the coloured people. And this, this, this huge shitstorm just kicks off. And I think it's just really, really well done. Stars Toby Maguire, Ruth Witherspoon, Jeff Daniels, William H. Macy, uh, and many, many more. The cinematography in black and white in this film is just gorgeous to look at. I mean, it's really rich tone. And when the colours kick in, they really, really do pop. They did a really good job with this movie. And the music is fantastic as well. Fiona Apple doing a cover of the Beatles song Across the Universe. But yeah, if you haven't seen this film, you really go check it out. I fucking love it. I watch it uh, as much as I can, usually every other month or so, which is good because, like, I don't really watch movies that often, but I watch this one a lot. I don't know what it is, but I really like it. So I don't know if that was much of a review, but yeah, I give it a uh, 5 out of 5 stars with me. Two thumbs up. 10 out of 10. MOFO! My l last week's video, my part 2 of my track phone, didn't get any comments. It got like, it got quite a lot of views through like one of my videos, because usually, for some reason, you guys don't really watch my videos that much, like, the rest of the channel will get like maybe, uh, 60 to 70 to over 100, and usually my videos usually only get about 40 views, which I don't really care as long as you're watching them. But I didn't get one comment last week. What the fuck? But enough of that. Um, I got to make a plug. I don't usually like plugging things, but I got to plug something. My band Rash Decisions album uh, has been released worldwide as of yesterday. Um, we're like a thrash kind of hardcore punk, similar to maybe the Casualties or Municipal Waste. Um, it's an eight-track album, but it is official when it comes to this little digi pack. There's a, a disc and all in there. Um, you can buy it from most record stores I think but uh, I'll put a link to I think it's going to be on iTunes soon as well but I'm going to put a link to where you can buy this album uh, in the sidebar over there over there I always get it wrong everyone gets it wrong how hard could it be to distinguish between what's left and right but anyway yeah if you could please check that out fucking upside down check that out or check out the MySpace we have a European tour coming up uh, I just wanted to let you guys know about that I think the album will be five pounds or seven dollars I'm not too sure but yeah if you could check that out that'd be fucking sick so yeah watch Pleasantville and check out my band me pimping my shit all over the internet and uh, I'll see you next week motherfucker I don't know if I ever said this to you before but well I think you're just about the keenest girl in the whole school <laughs> really skip the keenest oh yeah <laughs>